Georgia and this is The Sound of Georgia. Well, the other week I finished reading a book called The Last Queen by T.W. Gortner. It's about Juana of Castile, who was, as the title suggests, the last woman to be crowned Queen of Spain. Historical fiction novels about real people who really existed, told in a biographical sort of format. You know who I've never seen one of? Any of the one traps. So why would that be? <laughs> There are plenty of novels like this out there covering people from all over history. Burial Rites by Hannah Kent, The Other Berlin Girl by Philippa Gregory, Lady Elizabeth by Alison Weir, really all of her stuff actually. Heck, even Margaret Landon's Anna and the King of Siam, which was the inspiration for The King and I, and of course everything on my Hamilton shelf. So why don't these guys have one? Well, I have a couple theories. The first one has to do with their popularity. As I said, there are so many novels about Alexander Hamilton and or people he crossed paths with during his life. Why would that be? I have 11 of them on my bookshelf. There are varying degrees of fictionality between them. One of them makes the musical look like a documentary, but they're all told in that historical fiction biographical sort of style. Except one, which is Hamilton and time travel. It's weird. But 10 out of those 11 are told in that biographical format. And 8 out of those 10 novels have been published in the years since the musical came out. So that's the reason they exist. They're cashing in on the musical. Because that is the reason this man is back in the public consciousness. But with the Von Trapps, obviously their biggest thing is the sound of music. But it's a little different. While Hamilton's impact on the world is huge, and it will very much go down in history for many different reasons, it is relatively new. The show only went to Broadway in 2015, so it's only been six years. Sound of Music has been out much, much longer. The film came out in 1965, obviously, so 50 years before Hamilton. And then the stage musical came out six years before that in 1959. So if you were to write a novel, a historical fiction novel, about the Von Trapps, you couldn't say you're cashing in on the Sound of Music, as these people have done with all the Hamilton novels. At over 50 years old, The Sound of Music isn't anything new in terms of pop culture or musicals or things like that. In fact, it's getting up there on old, I guess. The Sound of Music happened, and it was huge, and it still is, but it's not really newsworthy on a very regular basis right now. The Sound of Music is so big that its interest has sort of waned. If you were to write a novel about the Von Trapps today, it would definitely be marketed as about the family that inspired Sound of Music. Back in 2015 when they made The Von Trapp Family A Life of Music, which was Agatha's story, and is very much plot-wise what I would think a historical fiction novel about the Von Trapps could be. It's very, very fictionalised, and in other places it's spot on. But even with that, though we weren't telling the same story, this was Agatha's story and not Maria's, it was still very much marketed as being about the same family whose story was The Sound of Music. So a novel written about the Von Trapps would definitely be pushed in that direction as far as like marketing went, but it wouldn't have the same reaction as any of those Hamilton novels. It would be very much, wait, it's about the guys from Sound of Music. It has been so long since Sound of Music that Sound of Music doesn't have the hype that a more recent thing like Hamilton would. Hamilton is much newer much more newsworthy right now, and before it came about nobody really cared about this man. If a book had been written about the Von Trapps in the late 1960s, then it would be the same sort of thing. Then it could be cashing in on the sound of music by writing a novel about these same historical people. But the world was very different back then. With all those Hamilton novels people are going, ooh I want to know what really happened. With a story about the Von Trapps it would be, well we have sound of music, don't we? even though you can get more accurate history from Hamilton than you can with Sound of Music. Though Sound of Music is far more accurate than people think it is. But that's another video. So that's one reason I think novels about the Von Trapps don't exist. Because the biggest claim to fame happened too long ago that it no longer seems like an obvious idea to write a novel about them. And the second reason I have is almost the exact opposite. And that doesn't have to do with Sound of Music, but rather the family themselves. While I feel like The Sound of Music is too old, I feel like the family themselves has the exact opposite problem. They're too modern. Looking at all the examples of the books I gave earlier, 
you might have noticed one thing about them. All these historical figures lived a few, if not several, centuries ago. What would be the Von Trapp story, the events we see in Sound of Music, that all started only 95 years ago. Yeah. Anyone feeling old? Freya arrived at the Von Trapp Villa in 1926, so 95 years ago. With the novels I just mentioned, the most recent historical figure was Agnes Magnus Dotter, who was the last woman to be executed in Iceland in the 18... Uh, I can't remember exactly when, I'll put it on the screen. Sometime in the 19th century. Well, the Hamilton books take place in the 18th century, and then the books like The Last Queen and The Other Berlin Girl and all of Alice and Weir's stuff take place in the 1500s or earlier. So not enough time has passed since these events really happened. Definitely see a novel about the Von Trapps coming out one day. But I don't think it'll be for another at least few decades. There probably is at least one historical fiction novel out there about the life of somebody who lived in the 1920s or a bit later, but most of the ones I've heard of follow people who lived many, many years ago. Long before the 20th century. I don't think the Von Trapps are quite historical enough in terms of when they lived. Especially when Sound of Music is so timeless. You don't feel like it's been as long with Sound of Music as it really has. So those are my two biggest theories on why there aren't any historical fiction novels about the Von Trapps. The closest you get, the closest you get honestly is, I think, A Life of Music, but that's a movie. I don't think it's past the realms of possibility that there might be a book about these people one day in the future that isn't Sound of Music, but I don't think it'll be any time soon. And until that happens, I have fan fiction. That's everything I've got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you think there should be a historical fiction novel written about the Von Trapps that isn't the story of the Sound of Music. And you agree with me as to why there aren't any at the moment. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my video next week. So long, farewell!